All right, y'all. So we're at Weedon Island Preserve uh, out here in St. Pete. And pretty chilly day out, it's like high 50s, low 60s, which if you're a Floridian, that's pretty cold. Um, out here, there's not a lot of people out here. We're coming off of a high tide. Um, it's gonna be going out, I think, until about 2 p.m. So it's gonna be a, a kind of fast moving tide, which will be fun to paddle back in when I'm on the way in. But um, I hit up this area just because red tide's not really affecting it per what the FWC website says, which DeSoto right now is getting crushed by the red tide. I was out there last week on the kayak and really didn't get any bites. Um, caught a stingray that was it so coming out here in hopes of avoiding red tide and you know hopefully the fish are in here with this cold snap they should be moving into these back country areas so we'll uh we'll see what happens the flats are holding nothing right now so fish the mangroves fish some of the shallow skinny water flats and nothing so i'm thinking they might be holed up in some of this deeper water it might be a little bit warmer water down there on the bottom so we'll probably anchor up here. Make the most of our day. We got a little red. Kind of on the smaller side. I don't think it'll be a keeper. Actually the first fish today. I've been out here for about two hours now. No luck. Finally got a little red. So, some sort of action. Glad to finally bend the rod though. So, got a little red. He is... 16... Close to 16 inches. Something. So happy to have you on board, buddy. See you later. Alright, switching it up a bit. I'm gonna be using this little fiddly crab. That's number two hook. Let's see if we can get something to hit this. <clears throat> Might get a nice sheep's head. You know, I don't really have too much luck with fiddler crabs. I see other people doing real well when they use it, but for me, my fiddler crab usually just gets picked apart. We'll see. Maybe my luck will change today. Fiddler crab out. Hopefully a fish comes on. Oh yeah. You're getting bit by something. So whatever is down there wants shrimp and fiddler crabs, it does not want the greenbacks. So I'm thinking there's probably some sheep's head down there. Hopefully a keeper sheep's head. So we're just going to keep it on the shrimp, give them what they want. Hopefully hook up. I may have to bump down my hook size if I keep missing these fish. I'm using a 2 aught. I might have to go down to a one aught. We'll see. The hits that I'm getting are pretty decent, huh? There goes Ron again. I figured sheep's head, so there are sheep's head down there. So this guy probably won't make the cut. He looks like he's probably, let me just set him in this net right here. Looks like he's probably like 10 inches, maybe. He's got the 12 feet or so. He's got like a good guy. So I knew they were down there because I kept getting bit on shrimp and fiddler crabs, but not on the dead greenbacks. So, 
Little sheep's head. I don't want the hook to get in. But yeah, and you can see these guys' teeth pretty gnarly. Made for just crushing barnacles and crabs and all kinds of stuff. You just need pliers to get these guys out. Super hard now. There you go. Good to know it's down there though. Uh, we can measure them. I'm curious. Alright, so this guy's ten and a half. So yeah, he's gonna go back. And he's off. Alright. Cool. A little variety. Okay, so since we know there's sheep set down there, I'm actually bumping down my hook size and I figured this would be a good time to try these sheep's head jigs. That was from a uh, other Mike's feed shop. And I'm just gonna tie this thing up. Let's see if they actually work for sheep's head. crab on there. So you can get more sheep's head. Hopefully there's a keeper down there. These guys are really good eating. Pinching the hell out of my finger right now. Alright. Sorry buddy. Let's go through the bottom at the top. Sometimes we'll crack the shell open, which sucks, but part of the process. Alright, uh, shots off. Since we already have a weight on this basically jig head. And we're gonna toss this fib around there. See so if we can get another sheep sub to bite. almost exactly the same size as the other guy, so we know he's not going to be a keeper. The other guy was ten and a half. This one's probably even maybe a little bit shorter. These guys got some serious fins. Maybe we'll get watch out for that. These guys are creeping. Get out here. Huh? Alright. Sheep said. Back in the water. I'm going to say, first time using the sheep said jig head, and it nailed the sheep's head on the first bait that I threw out with it, so. And that's like compared to a two odd hook, which missed pretty much every single one except for the one before last, I guess. So, it doesn't do the thing. This is a good two for two. Let's go. There we go. Another sheep's head. I think it might be a little bit better. Got a little bit of run in them. He is. I don't know, he's probably a little bit bigger, maybe 11. I don't think he's 12. I'm 
Yeah, this guy's not quite. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Fairly short. This guy's almost a keeper. Sheep's at number three. Going back in the water. Alright, so that's two for two on the sheep's head jig. Let's see if we go three for three. If we go three for three on this thing, I'll be thoroughly impressed. I'm already pretty impressed with it. A pretty chunky oyster bed down there, so they're just freaking stacking up on that thing. There you go. I probably should have set the hook just then, he kind of had it. Clean it off. Okay. Two for three, not too bad. So we got three fiddler crabs left, so we're gonna keep it going. Hope they get that keeper. There you go. And is this a sheep's head? Yeah, another sheep's head. Pretty much the same size as the others, so too small. There's a spider, yeah. See what having a net on board is super handy. Used to fish without a net and just have the fish flopping around and with treble hooks and all that other stuff. Definitely good having a net. A little bit bigger compared to some of the other ones. But it's still not going to be a keeper, it's probably going to be like 11. I guess. Maybe short. Sure. Like 11 and a half. Almost there. Yeah. Not quite. Alright. See what he said. Number 4, I think. Got a little bit of a little hernia going on there. We'll get it back in the water. Alright. So. I'm about done with this spot in the small sheep's head. I mean, they're close, but I only have a couple of shrimp left. I want to try to save it for some, something on the way in. I think every time I head in and I see all kinds of fish. So, hopefully it just gets better from here. I still got some dead green bags and I also got quite a fish of course. So, we'll see. Hopefully we can get on some more though. Well, I got a snack on the Z, man. While my other pulls out. The dead green. Oh, there he goes. There we go, fish on. Fish on, on a shrimp. I was actually using the, uh, the jig. The jig head, little. What's it called? Sheep's head jig head. That old snook. Be cool. So the sheep's head jig head. That's the snook, too. This little guy. Probably one. Maybe 23 or so. Get a release on this guy. Okay, this snook, tiny guy, on the uh, sheep's head jig head, using shrimp. He's going back. <laughs> 